Hello, Raisin 3 and Philly fans. How are you? How are you? It is Friday morning. Friday morning. Yes, it is. And I'm going to head over and get you a new fresh video of the day here. It's a lot going on on Fridays. Okay. See you, Raisin 3 and Philly fans. Whoa! talking about boxers trail it's between north and west yeah. Philly. We say basically north and northwest but it's between north, north and west or north and northwest Hey, Bria, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> you don't consent to this. Alright, we're just gonna go down to where this look like. The crossroads. The crossroads, crossroads. Crossroads, crossroads. You know it'd be mountain lions in here. It's like, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> it don't be no mountain lions in East Fairmount Park, folks. Okay. So here it is, folks. Remember what I told you it's called Boxer's Trail? So here it is. Boxer's Trail. Oh, you could go left, you could go right. You could go left, or you could go right. Left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Let me stop. <laughs> this is a creek down here. This is that Randolph Creek they was talking about. Randolph Creek. I wonder, there might be some frogs in there. You might find a frog or two hopping around there. All right, folks, so I'm going to give you the other half of this Ren Dark Park. It's going to be in the park.
What is what? And that's so scary. It's almost like from a gecko or something. It's probably a bird, a certain it bird. It wasn't a bird. It was like a lizard. Mom, keep walking. Oh. It's a lizard, I guess. I was saw nothing like that. Please. Hmm. Well, Philadelphia certainly has its own mixture of uh, wildlife. <laughs> you might see a possum or two around here. I know I won't, I won't <laughs> raccoon might come out and say hello to you. Oh, I like raccoons. That's my favorite animal. I think they're cute. But guess what I don't like is their claws. Those claws. Then cut the claws in. How are you going to do that? You got to domesticate them. Or you can watch a dog. Domest oh, look at this black butterfly, y'all. I want y'all to see that. Do y'all see that? You see it right in the middle of the, of the walkway there? It's like a black butterfly. Black butterfly sail across the waters. I thought it was a mice. No, it was, <laughs> it was a chipmunk. Chipmunk. It wasn't. Alvin Simon Theodore. It was. Do, oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> I mean, that is the chipmunk song, right, guys? Okay, you can tell what generation I come from. But that was the chipmunk song. What you know about that? What you know about that? Oh, look, they got one. They got one right there. That's what I thought was a lizard, but it was just a chicken. It look more like a mice. But you saying it's a chipmunk. Oh yeah, it is, because it got the strike. That's pretty funny, so come on. Scoop it up and eat it. Take a nice picture on that rock. Do I look like I got nice clothes on? 
No, but I'm just saying. You want to take a picture about a rock. Okay, well, put the camera over there. Chlorophyll is in these plants. As y'all know, I'm a nurse, so you know I know all about the uh, biology. Chlorophyll. And chloroplasts, yes, to make the cell wall in these plants. To make the herbs. Oh, well, this is, this is poison ivy right here, so I don't want to get too close to that. I don't want to get too close to that three-leaf thing. Those are ivies, and they may just be poisonous. So I'm not trying to get too close to that. I hear something moving around in there. What? Mm -hmm. I mean, something is moving around in there. Those squirrels. Poof! Say no, just playing. All right, folks, and out we go. Back to civilization we go. Hello folks, and the herb of the day is, can you guess what this herb is? Can you guess what this herb is? What does it look like to you? Well, look hard. Do you think you know? A lot so of people use this herb to does exfoliate the, the body. skin do a lot for the as body. well as exfoliate to the skin. Um, they also help lower cholesterol levels. Treat different kinds of skin well irritation. As, um, 
Most, most people know this herb in a spa. System. If you ever went to a How spa do do or got your they feet help done, maintain the uh, got your feet in the, in the uh, pedicure, system, got your feet done, the amino acids and the everything. The blue flower herb. They do a the blue lot flower for the body. You can drink it as a tea, tea hot or cold. Or beads is what you will see. It makes the water turn blue. Uh, it exfoliates the skin. It does a great, great job. So I guess the next question is, where can I buy these blue, this butterfly herb? Well, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it go to the local herb store, pick it up. Um, you can get it at just about anywhere. It's a pretty popular what? herb. So, um, it's pretty, believe it or not, it's pretty easy to access. Now, it's a little pricey. It's a little pricey. It's going to cost you a little dime a coin. But if you really want it, you can get it. You can find it. So this is a good herb to have. It's very exotic. It's just good to have. So don't forget about butterfly herbs. Just taking a stroll huh? down memory lane. Just speaking of this herb, I don't know, I just thought about my brother, who you're about to see coming up. But before then, I'll let you see Joshua. So this is Joshua's best friend. His buddy, called Buddy. Yes, that's this dog name. His name is Buddy. He's my brother's best friend dog. Joshua likes him a lot, and as you can tell, he likes Joshua a lot. He did not want Joshua to leave when it was time for us to go. Buddy what? did not want Joshua to go. As you can see, they were they had a hard time calling him. Okay, folks, so it is definitely thought of the day time. Yes, this is the time where I may get a little biblical and I talk about my thoughts, what I learned during the week. Huh? Today's title is... The truth hurts sometimes. Yes, folks, you heard me. The truth hurts sometimes. This may apply to you. Hello? Hello? Are you talking to me, sugar? I don't know if this applies to me. Stop trying to live up to other people's expectations. And always be honest to, with yourself. A once wise person once said, To thy own self be true. In other words, be honest with yourself. Are you happy with what you're doing in life right now? Are you still working on completing those goals that you always wanted to complete? I mean, sometimes you just got to come down and just question yourself. You got to know who you are, where you stand at in life. Folks, Only you let's can encourage you. Only you can, yes, encourage you. So, when I think about that, let's turn it to... It makes me want to look the in the Bible. book of St. John, the 7th chapter, and the 20th verse. And it reads, Jesus said to them, 
I did one miracle and you are all astonished. Your one miracle or that one miracle is you, yourself. You are your own miracle to the world. You are a gift from God to the world. Thank you.